You're not for the streets, Priscilla. You can eat out here? No way, ladies and gentlemen, did you know that? Hold on, we're gonna eat some delicious. Oh my god, dude, that's awesome. I didn't know you could eat out here. That's sick. All right, well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I did watch a video about the insect lave today, and I learned that at six star, we get access to the switch skill that, quote, is a borderline necessity. Uh, unfortunately, we'll be moving on to a new weapon at the start of next week. Puke, puke! Of course, I want to fight you, baby girl. The poll is currently sitting at 183 viewers, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not voted already, it is your God-given duty to this channel to vote for your favorite weapon so that we may struggle through it next week. Now, there is one that is winning. There is some that are in close second place. I won't say names. I don't know, technically speaking, if you guys can actually see it. Shmungus, down in her demon drug, didn't even get a free meal to trigger. What a bitch. I haven't even checked my farms all week. Oh, God. I think I checked them during the live stream. That was it. Oh, also, uh, Bugathy is dead. Roll credits. Yeah, we have a new bug now. Bugathy uh, stabbed a child in the village. Uh, it was a whole f***ing thing. God, there was a lot of blood. Anyways, uh, Bugathy is no longer with us. We now have a dual insect. I, I don't even know what to call him. He collects two things. He's really f***ing powerful and really nice. In addition to that, I changed up the skills because, boys, this is our last day with the insect glaive. I will say this. I think I prefer the insect glaive to something like the dual blades just because. It hits harder. I like the combos more. I'll say I like it more than the dual blades, but I will also admit, I, I don't think I ever got too good at the dual blades. At least with Insect Glaive, I had some past experience with it, so I don't want to sh** it too much. I, I'm not opposed to returning to dual blades once we cover every weapon. At the moment, uh, I will say Insect Glaive is a little bit higher on my little tier list that I'm creating. At the end of each week, should I create a tier list and then see where they stack up? I don't think that's that difficult to do. You know, we can do that. And then I can, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll take some time, I'll create a tier list, edit defenseless slap that tier list right here <laughs> those are my thoughts so far on where i think all the weapons are if your weapon's lower it just means that i probably like don't hate me the last day of the week we can we can rank the weapons have our full thoughts on them i think that that's not a bad bad idea we're getting killed by poison right now that's pretty bad hey uh mayor do you want to heal us a little bit baby girl damn puka puka's already getting parts broken yeah puka puka was gonna be a fun fight no matter what way i cut it as well today is friday so ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen come out to the live stream it's gonna be a fun time i've enjoyed my time with the insect life this is not a bad weapon this is a pretty nice one as a matter of fact if i was gonna play through this game again this might be a fun one to run through with just because of things like the narwhal serpent that thing the male and female versions of the narwhal both of those can they would be fun to fight with this because they can't run away from you you can just get up on them am i having a stroke i don't know I, I, I don't know. I do know that I've had a f***ing sore throat this morning, and it's not great, because that's why I'm, I'm recording this a, a lot later than I normally would have. I'm a big uh, not fan of sore throats. I think they f***ing suck. A little not fun for me, and I think it's partially due to the uh, mouth guard and me just getting used to it. I know I had briefly mentioned it in Monday's episode. I didn't want to comment on it at the time because it was, you know, too early. I have TMJ in my jaw, and it can be quite painful. Uh, it's pretty common, but I don't have a super bad case of it. I just have like a flare up here and there. That being said, there is a quote unquote solution to it, which is to get a mouth guard, which prevents things like grinding because it's like essentially what this mouth guard is, is a brick of acrylic that's just fit to your teeth. And you know what? It feels like a brick of acrylic in my mouth. It's a little weird. I'm getting used to it. I like how smooth it is right now. And apparently when I go in for my like checkups every six months, my dentist can just like polish it back down to smooth because part of it is the fact that my jaw will scratch the fuck out of it. I don't know. Uh, the first couple of days, nothing bad has happened really. My dentist did scare the out of me though. He goes, there's two things that are going to happen to you. And I was like, oh boy, let's hear them. And uh, apparently you can get your jaw misaligned. It's going to scare the out of me when it happens because essentially like in my sleep, my jaws will fall out of parallel and they just won't realign. So in the morning, they'll be like all slack 
black jawed and apparently when that happens it's just going to like take maybe 20 30 minutes to die down but he told me he's like you will be scared you will be absolutely terrified when it happens because you'll be like is this it is it permanent now damn we are dissecting this puke puke this is one of the better fights that i've done in this entire week this has been really good yeah i mean that's pretty much all i want to say about the mouth guard there, there's not i mean it's a mouth guard it's like for grinding teeth and all this stuff it feels weird and this is the first day that i've woken up with like a sore throat because of the damn thing i think it's because of it it could just be because i slept with my mouth open i'm not sure though my jaw feels fine it just feels like a steady amount of sore if that makes sense it doesn't feel like near as bad as tmj used to get it we'll see if i have a flare-up you know after installing this thing i totally forgot to sharpen that was a mistake if you're interested in seeing what the next weapon is or being a part of the building process then come out join us on saturday we're gonna do some fun there and we always have a good time and he's already blue damn this has been one of the fastest fights puke puke you're such a doll now i know i'm gonna get asked this question because we just had the sony state of play and we were just shown off a lot of stuff um monster Hunter wilds got a lot of things shown off uh the biggest thing that i saw was that uh cool or is it kulu yaku is back that's cool uh i'm not really like i don't know i'm not really super into doing the uh damn he's already dead rest in piss bozo uh i'm not really the most accurate when it comes to this type of like assessment of trailers and being like look in the background you can see this and that and this and that honestly i'm kind of just looking forward to going through the game when it comes out i will say we are not not super far away from that coming out that's gonna be really awesome uh i'm gonna need to time some stuff here at defenseless to fit into that perfectly i need to mark february 28th on the calendar and then we're gonna have i don't know when monster Hunter rise is going to finish i would assume maybe sometime in november but once we finish up monster hunter rise we move on to some sort of a middle of the road game that i will be able to 100 percent finish before february 28th and then february 28th hit monster hunter rise or wilds Fuck. yes at the release of monster hunter rise we're gonna start monster hunter stories that's that's the game plan that's how we're gonna grow defenseless into a monolithic creature god no nah, i'm looking forward to that that's gonna be a very fun time oh capture Rathian? sure we began the week with her we're gonna end the week with her you know what? that's always an option maybe on the live stream we'll go over the monster hunter uh wilds trailer go on bug find it where's orange oh it's feet should have known slut ouch that hurt oh god i just can jump a fucking puke puke and then raytheon my girl just is disrespecting me did you want to scream you have a beautiful scream baby girl feel kind of bad don't want to capture raytheon she's my girl god we're just fucking up those wings oh boy uh we can just corridor smash you uh i might just attack the tail and get that shit removed see the new attack really does let you close more distance but i don't know if you even need that with this weapon like it's already so good at closing the gap between you and the monster that it's like do you like watch weapon sheath oh look he's a little bit far away i can do this attack which draws me in closer i, I think it looks sick so i'll take it but i don't know if you if it's even necessary this weapon's already so nimble but it's nimble when you're up in the air so it just feels like i mean do you really need that you might like it like i don't know it's kind of cool looking i'll give you that oh were you trying to poison me right there girl you should have known better schmungus don't get poisoned i was fighting raytheans before the first line of code for this game was written before this engine was conceived you don't even know give me that tail i want the tail oh, good old raytheon poison never lets me down in there you know what that's an interesting point to make bugathy 2 go out there yeah r.i.p bugathy that's a uh, that is heartbreaking amazing how a child can survive for a couple of minutes without you know blood i, don't know, I think i just forgot to feed him shocker that i made it to heaven after you know owning a bug that did that i, I don't even know what the f is happening they're just hitting one another i'm so god confused there we go that's tail oh, it's just kind of fun to go after tail with insect life if i want to go after a tail there is next to nothing this monster can do to stop me i can get there and close that gap so easily i like the idea of beginning and ending the week with the same monster to show how much we've improved or not improved now we're skibbitying him oh my god okay i need to i need to bring that up barely i i couldn't watch the whole video but apparently there's like a an australian politics like parliament speaker who like went up in front of all of them and was like hey kids this government is l riz 
to the Sigmas of Australia. Uh, we need to skibbity bra her and give her a uh, phantom tax. <laughs> It is so bad. You, you can't escape fucking skibbity toilet. You can't escape source filmmaker. It will follow you till the ends of the earth. Oh, sh strongest. Don't f*** this up. Don't f*** this up, girl. There we go. Sleep. Sleep time. All right. Well, don't forget to vote. Have a great rest of your day. Call your mother. Tell you. Love her. Bye.